Hi, welcome to the third and final part of ResLife's video series about new student housing. This video focuses on selecting your room. We'll continue the example situation from the second video. I've got my group with Dean Thomas, and since my time slot's in progress, I can proceed directly to room selection. This first page of room selection shows us all the communities that are available to select rooms from. Dean and I are actually hoping to live in college in the woods, so we'll choose that community. There's a few rooms available for selection, a double room and a suite. You'll see a number next to the little bed icon. This is the amount of total beds in the space and not how many available beds there are in the space. We're going to look at how the room selection process works for both the double and the suite. Let's first look at the Cayuga 403 double. You'll see that there are bed selection spots for both myself and Dean. As the group leader, I'm the one to house both of us. I'll go ahead and place myself into bed 1, and Dean into bed 2. This brings us to a page where I can check and confirm that I've placed everyone in the group exactly where I want to. If I'm ready to confirm my room selection, I'll click confirm. Let's go back to see how this works for the suite. We'll look at Mohawk 1D for this example. We're at an identical page as before. A big thing to note here is that when you're choosing a bedroom in a suite, you're temporarily selecting the entire suite. Even if you're signing up as an individual, the suite will disappear from viewing for a few minutes if another student's looking at it. So basically for this, our recommendation is that if you don't see anything right away as you're going through room selection, give it a few minutes and then refresh the page. Rooms will likely appear eventually. All the doubles in this suite are open, so when I go to select Dean and I's rooms, I can choose between any of the three doubles. I'll go ahead and put Dean and I into the Mohawk 1D1 room together. This brings us to an identical checking and confirmation page as when we were looking at the Cayuga double. Let's go back one more time. Dean and I have decided that we really want that Cayuga 403 double. I'll place us into our beds again, bringing us back to that confirmation screen. We've discussed it over with each other and we're ready to select this room. I'll go ahead and click the confirm button. It's very important that you click the confirm button when you're ready to select a room. That's how you'll be placed. We've been successfully housed. We can see a booking summary here that shows us our beds, check-in, and check-out dates. These dates are not a reflection of your move-in and move-out dates. It's a way for ResLife to confirm that you've selected housing for the 23-24 academic year. Information for your move-in and move-out dates will be sent to you in the summer, so make sure to keep checking your emails. We can now click log out as we're finished with the process. Thanks so much for watching. We can't wait to see you here at Binghamton University.